there was an R&D project I did early in my career where we were trying to make something like pass an ingress protection test. Mm -hmm. And for like a rookie engineer, that is not an easy thing to do. I mean, I think even for like, you know, a group that's been out there for a while, that is not an easy thing to do. I mean, sealing robots in general. Like yeah. We had to do that a ton pretty, on the solar robots at, at Renzo. Pretty gosh darn tricky. And it's like little pieces of dust you're in your O-ring groove, water ingress. Like, yep. I mean, to the point Slight where... Slight like, machining irregularity, yeah. ingress. <laughs> like, to the point, like, we kind of doubted ourselves. So, like, the, the solar robot, the base of it is actually oil-filled so that if there's any water ingress, like, most of the water will probably just, you know, disperse or move out of the way of the oil or whatever. It won't get in the mechanism. And then the, top, the top part is actually uh, pressurized with a pressure sensor in it. So we actually proactively put air in it. So if there is a small leak, it'll actually see it in the pressure sensor. It'll see it go down. It'll throw an alarm, and the robot will actually autonomously go back. Oh, that's to its cool. starting point so that because we were just getting tired of like we would have leaks left and right on these things and yeah because it does have like a probably like a 30 inch long like o-ring groove on the top of this big thing it's probably not the best you know yeah again it was designed 16 years ago um but like yeah we just pressurize it so then we're like all right screw it. if we can't deal with the leak we can at least monitor if the leaks can actually happen and at what rate it's happening but like, yeah, we have shaft steels and like, it's a good, it's a good test for any engineers, like design yeah. something that fully seals in a yeah. crazy environment, especially sewer. Sewer is hard because it's, you know, if you're in the ocean, it's like, all right, you're dealing with ocean, ocean water, ocean pressures, whatever. Sewer, it's like, think of anything you've ever put down a drain, it's there. Drano, like that stuff is super caustic. You got salt. The drain is, just stays there. It doesn't magically it can, it can. It can. It should disperse, but you can get environments where there's like a little bit of a belly in a pipe. Someone just flushed a bunch of drain. Like they just used a bunch of drain. It can come in through a lateral and hit your robot. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, we've gone into some like buried vaults where I guess it used to be some sort of container and it was just filled with salt water and a robot got stuck and we retrieved it the next day and it was just pitted to hell. All the yeah, aluminum and everything was just pitted to hell. Ate through the anodized everything. Wow. For just 24 hours in this salt solution. 